Okay, third grade, we are adding the color to our giraffe. Make sure that the folder holder has passed out your giraffe. Your name should be on the back. Make sure you have yours. Um, when I ask the supply manager to get our supplies, they're gonna get our tray. Then they'll take your house. Remember, any paint in the cup right there is not paint we're using. Find a slot, dump your tippies into the slot so everybody can grab the handle. Put your house in the other slot. Everybody grab a tippy. Um, seat table captain are going to open our four paints. We have a golden yellow, an orange yellow, a red orange and brown, and then regular brown. Remember your tops are going to go together, go in the other cup. Okay, so please listen. We are going to be using all these colors to add color to our giraffe. Okay, so we're gonna start at the top and move our way down. The horns and the outside of the ears, they are gonna be more of your orange yellow. No, I'm sorry. They're going to be your lightest color. Notice I did not go on the inside of the ear. That's going to be a darker color. So I'm going to take this color. I'm not going to go on the inside. I'm going to go in the face around the eyes. This is our mustard color. And I've changed brushes. I did switch to a, a round instead of a flat so we can get in those little spaces. Okay, so I'm going to wipe this off. Now we're going to move to our next color, our orange yellow. And it's going to be in the middle. And it doesn't matter, I'm going to paint those a darker color so we can go over the nostrils. You're still going to see them. I'm not going to worry about trying to go around them. And this same color, I'm going to paint the eyelids. If you can't do it that color, just do it the same color as you did on the outside. Okay. So now I'm going to take the same color down the neck. Trying to cover up any white. Okay. Now, as I'm looking at this, I notice that I'm not fond of how different these colors are. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my brush. I'm not going to add any more to it. I'm just going to kind of blend it in with whatever I have on my brush. It's still gonna make the face look a different color because I'm adding two colors on top, but I'm just kind of blending this orange. And again, I didn't get any more oil paint on my brush because it's still wet. I'm just kind of mixing them together on my paper. There we go. I feel like that's a better look. Okay, wipe this off. Okay, now we're gonna go to the dark red orange. This is gonna be what our spots are. So I'm gonna give this a minute to, to dry before I do that. I'm gonna go to the brown. The brown is gonna be the inside of the ears and your nostrils. So 
this is brown. Okay, getting the nostrils. It is wet, but it's still darker. Okay, I'm gonna wipe that off. Now I'm gonna add the hair while this is still drying. So that's, this is the red. I'm just adding short little lines coming off his back of his neck, not the front. Again, not down here, just on this side. Okay. The shapes of our giraffe are very organic, which means it's not a square, it's not a rectangle. It's very round, it's like a round square is what I like to call it. And I don't wanna make them big because my giraffe's not that big. Oops. Don't want it in the face. Okay. So we have finished adding all the colors on a giraffe. I'm gonna wipe this off. Supply manager, make sure you get all the tippies, bottom down, hair up. Table captain, grab your tops and go ahead and shut your four colors. Now to, color, to shut these correctly, lay it on top, take your palm or the your fingers and just lay them over and snap. You don't want to slam it or push it because it'll crumble, but you just kind of have to lay it down over. So once your tippies are in the house and your paints are closed, supply manager, go ahead and walk this back. Don't forget to dump these in the pool. Everybody else, you're going to listen to Miss Lawson um, when to come to the drying rack, making sure you know if you're getting your just your giraffe or you're grabbing your paint mat also.